Hello everyone. Tonight's just me. Today it's just me. Um, <laughs> what's evident is that my brother and sister are far more popular than I am. Or maybe we're just better in concert. Anyways, I can't have them over every night. So, just me drinking the beer again. Tonight I have element number four from the Core of Four series by Black Raven Brewing. Element number four is the water element. Uh, so this is apparently a, a mini series made last year by Black Raven Brewing um, in which they tried to do beers that highlight specific elements of, of the beer recipe. The beer recipe is malt, hops, yeast, and water according to the label on the back here, um, which also corresponds to reality. Everything else is that, that could be added, flavors, spices, fruits, um, anything besides malt, hops, yeast, and water is considered an adjunct. That is something that has been added to the beer, which can be to a good purpose. Uh, but um, a couple weeks ago I mentioned the Reinheitsgebot, the German beer purity law, that's what German beer, for instance, is limited to. In order to be called beer in Germany, it has to consist only of malt, hops, yeast, and water. So, anyways, all that to say, uh, this is a brewing series by a good microbrewery exploring these four different major characteristics of beer. Um, this is a very low ABV, 4%. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, you know... It's not your Sunday beer from the Midwest, your 2.5% stuff from uh, yeah, states that, that limit what you can sell in the local Walmart or something. But it's still, it's a pretty low ABV beer. Um, this is not going to be my first drink of this. I have had this before, and I enjoyed it, and so I'm going to have it again. Um, <laughs> interesting. So I do like aging beers, as many of y'all know, or as I've certainly talked about often enough. But this one has a big warning, do not sell her, drink fresh. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, let's get this started. Mmm, smells nice and fresh. That's good. Okay, so, pours a, a straw color. Really light straw. Um, the, the head is, is light, the bubbles are large, um, and it's, it's hanging around. It looks real pretty. It's slightly hazy, but not very much. Just, just, just a touch. It's not quite crystal clear, but it's pretty close. So I would guess that, that was awkward. I would guess that this has been filtered at least some. Uh, let's see here. Keep the good end in shot. Let's see what we smell here. Okay, really, really mild. Um, some lime. Um, cracker. There's something else in the background. It's real faint, really subtle. As you can see, the head went away relatively quickly. Uh, not the fastest we've had, but that's mostly gone within a minute here. Okay, uh, biscuits, crackers, dry dry grains, um, like no finish whatsoever. Like you can taste the water, which I suppose makes sense. It is element water, <laughs> staying true to form. <laughs> um, a touch of lime. It's like a, like an actual tasty and refreshing um, hard seltzer almost, but it's not a hard seltzer. It's actually beer. It has malt, hops, yeast, and water in it, um, which technically hard seltzers do, but they are a malt beverage, 
Um, they don't actually often have hops. They're preserved other ways. Um, and they usually have like flavoring syrups added. This just has like the barest hint, like someone, you know, like a lime sneezed in the room. This is the, uh, <laughs> oh, who is, what's that sparkling water stuff where <laughs> the joke is, um, uh, you know, a, yeah, a lime sneezed in the same room as this water or something like that. Uh, it's not Evian. Um, it's one of the more expensive sparkling waters that claims to have flavors and they're very subtle flavors. Um, it's not that the lime isn't there. You can you can definitely smell it and taste it. It's just it's a real nice, refreshing hint rather than a lime. That's really nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna say is this succeeds, this beer succeeds as an exploration of definitely the malt and the water. And I suppose the yeast. The yeast is nearly always the unsung hero. Um, this is not a, like a, a, a Belgian beer that makes the yeast the primary flavor producer. This is a, this is a very clean, crisp, clear, uh, delicately flavored, malt forward, uh, delicious tasting beer with just the barest hint of kind of a citrus lime as just an extra little note of interestingness. Uh, that's pretty good. I would say that uh, I have a new appreciation, appreciation for the water used in the beer <laughs> or something like that. So this has been element, element number four of the core of four series, uh, the water element uh, by Black Raven Brewing and it's decently tasty. I'd imagine it'll be hard to find these things as it was, as this can says, a 2021 uh, series beer. I also picked up a the element number one, which is the malt, and that is a Doppelbach, and I look forward to uh, exploring that with y'all soon. I have not drunk that at all yet, so I intend for my first experience of that to be on camera. Anyways, I will catch y'all on the flip side.